Louisiana Beer Reviews, Blanche de Bruxelles. This is white beer. Blanche de Bruxelles means Brussels white. And uh, it's imported by Belucas Marketing. They import a lot of different beers. Brasserie La Fibre and Quinast, Belgium. Um, it's a white beer with spices and coriander. Not spices like coriander and orange peel, I'm sorry. 4.5% alcohol, uh, made with 40% wheat. Um, gets a good rating on beer, beer Advocate. The Bros give it a good score. 55 out of 100 on rate beer, 73 out of 100 for the style. And it gets an excellent score on the beer and me. I've never had it. Bought this at, um, I think I bought this at Dorgmax. I'm starting to forget. I get so many different ones from around Metairie. Let's check it out. Nice. Kiss. Slight breeze from the southwest, southeast. I mean, uh, yeah, it's got some smoke. You know, like you get with wheat beers, you get this enormous white head, and it's just uh, fizzing away from bottom up, and you get a hazy white appearance, uh, yellowish white appearance. And that's the whitest beer I've ever seen. Lots of streaming bubbles. You know, the Who Garden is more uh, yellowish, uh, but this is really white looking. See, the sun is right there. It's off and on cloudy right now. Yeah, so it's pretty cloudy. Let's, let's check out the aroma. That is super bready, which makes sense with all the wheat in it. It just smells like uh, that when you open the French bread up. So doughy. I'm not really picking up the orange peel or the coriander in the aroma. It just has just that intense breadiness. That's amazing. Let's switch the bottom. See if there's any sediment that's going to cloud this up. Look at that frothy head. Alright, let's. If I can get to the beer through the foam, let's go with the taste. Yeah, I think it. Let's see. Yeah, it did definitely cloud up. There's a grayish cloud descending, and it's going to get more so once I do the bottom. Let's check out the taste. That is really sweet, bready. Now I'm picking up the orange peel, the coriander spice. So you're really getting white bread. Sweetness, coriander, the orange peel, um, bitterness is very low. The IBU is probably 10 or less. The mouthfeel is medium. It's pretty fluffy. And the finish is mostly dry. And um, yeah, it's pretty refreshable here in the afternoon. And um, it's highly drinkable. I would say it's... Maybe not as good as the Who Garden, although it, that's probably not really. F yeah, there's stuff caked at the bottom. I'll never get that up. It's just different from Who Garden. Who Garden's got more, more of an intense orange flavor, I think, even a lemony flavor in it. The Cellus Grand Cru is just over the top with all their intense flavors. Oh yeah, you can see yeasts floating all around. And you may not be able to see it, but it's there. Um, but they don't make the Cellus Grand Cru anymore. It was that company went, went out of business, and then Pierre Cellus he died. So he's the man that invented the modern or brought back the modern Who Garden. But I did see that some. Uh, I did see at least one store had some uh, Cellus Grand Cru in, in stock, you know, in back 
what was left of it. So if you can get it, try it. That's probably the best movie I ever had. Um, or one of them. I'm going to give this an A-. I think it is excellent just at the bottom of that category, but it is very good. I, I think they rated it a little low on those rating sites, although the beer and me gave it excellent also. Um, it's not really the style of beer I care to drink. I'm not really big into wheat beers. Just I like eating bread. You know, I like to eat bread. But I'm not really big into drinking it, but uh, it's fine. I mean, if you're into wheat beers, you're going to love it. Look at all that lacing. So, Laissez Le Bon Ton Roule. This is an excellent beer, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.